Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I'm gonna tell you why you struggle to write poetry. I'm gonna go over five things that people fuck themselves with before they even start writing a fucking poem, okay? So let's talk about these. So first, you're thinking way too fucking hard about this. Art flows. It flows like fucking water. It's like turning on a fucking faucet, okay? It should pour out. I guess sometimes it could trickle, but most of the time there's going to be a flow, okay? Picture your fingers as little faucets, okay? And it's just like water's running out of all of them when you're typing, okay? Or if you're using a pen or a pencil or whatever the fuck you use, a crayon, a magic marker, a stick dipped in wax, like whatever the fuck you do, okay? If when you sit down to write something and you spend the majority of your writing time either staring at a blank page or waiting for inspiration to strike and you're just like, ah, I'm a writer. Mm. and that's the majority of the time you spend writing, you're thinking way too fucking hard about it. You just need to start writing, start typing, just start going, okay? And even if it takes you 12, 15 lines to get to what the fuck you're gonna write, just start writing so you could finally fucking get there, okay? Another thing that people have talked to me about is that they're afraid of using cliches. Don't worry about it because if you're writing something, you're writing. If there's a cliche in there, like a metaphor that you think is fucking stupid, but it's one that you think is so common that it's in everyone else's work. After you're done with it, ditch that metaphor and just take that whole fucking line out or change it later. But that shouldn't stop you from writing. Write the fucking thing. You could always go back. In fact, I just read a poetry book that was filled with not cliches, but just horrible fucking metaphors that didn't make any fucking sense. And I don't know if they thought they were being fucking cute, but you know what they did? They wrote a fucking book, and I paid money for it, held it in my hand, opened it, and read their shitty fucking metaphors. So the difference between that poet and you is that that poet finished their fucking book, all right? So don't worry about the cliches. Just fucking finish the poem. Next, something that people have brought to my attention and said is a problem of theirs that I'm sharing with you is that some people are afraid of their vocabulary. They don't think their vocabulary is wide enough to be able to be a poet. They think because they're not very educated that they will not be able to come up with the words, okay? My thing is, you came up with the words to tell me your problem. So obviously, coming up with words is not something that is hard for you to do. You convey emotion every fucking day. You text people, you message people, you talk to people. Fuck, you even order food through drive through fucking speaker boxes. You understand how to communicate. Now what you have to communicate are feelings. Now what you have to do is paint pictures with words. You already know how to do this. Your vocabulary should never be a reason why you can't do these things. Whatever level your vocabulary is, lay into that. Like if you think you have like a second grade education, lay into words that second graders use and have that be your fucking thing for right now. Don't ever let vocabulary be the reason why you can't write a poem. And if you wanna go even farther with this, if it's really that big of a fucking deal for you, then fucking Expand your vocabulary. Learn a new word every day. It's not hard. There's word a day apps. There's all sorts of things like that. Figure it out, okay? Next, you don't think you're good enough. Just in general, you have low self-esteem and you don't think you're good enough to write poetry. Fuck that. 
you're brilliant. You can fucking do this. And you're like, you don't fucking know me. I don't know you. But I fucking know human nature and I know humans. You can totally do this. The only reason why you think you can't do this is because, here I go, I'm gonna get on my fucking high horse and I wasn't even gonna do this, but here we are. Here we are. The poetry industry, okay, has made their fucking bones by making everyday people think that they aren't smart enough to not only write poetry, but also to read poetry. The only way you could possibly handle these things is if you go to school, if you are taught by the masters, if you do all this shit. Fuck that shit. Nobody fucking cares. Poetry is for everyone. Poetry is for everyone at every level, every social class, every race, every gender, every fucking sexuality, every everything. Poetry is for everybody, okay? I'm telling you right now, and I'm an authority on this because I have a fucking channel that's about teaching poetry and writing and publishing and stuff like that. So I obviously have the authority. So the person who is watching this video right now, yes, you, I'm talking to you right now, okay? You are good enough to write poetry, okay? You've already proven it to me by being here right now, okay? You can do this. Now, the next and final thing for today, the last truth that is a lie. It's so weird how this works out. The last reason that we're gonna go over today as to why you struggle to write poetry is because you think you don't have anything to say. So I'm going to start asking you questions now, okay? Why are you watching this video? You're watching this video because you're like, oh, I struggle when I write poetry. Some of you might have found this video in a fucking YouTube search or even a Google search. So the fact that you are searching for answers means you have plenty to say. Because one of the biggest arguments I get into with a lot of poets is there are people who think poetry has all the answers. And I don't think that's true at all. I think great poetry asks questions, okay? So you don't have to have answers when you're writing poems, but you have to be inquisitive enough to ask a question. Kinda like, maybe you wrote this down when you were searching it, why do I struggle to write poetry? You just did it, you asked the question. That Google search, that YouTube search, that was a poem. Good job. You did it. Okay. Now, yes, I have made this very simple, but guess what? The simplest poems are the best poems. So you don't have to know all the answers. You don't have to have all the answers. You don't have to be in a situation or a place where you feel like you need to teach anyone anything. All you have to do is ask the questions. Okay. If you found this useful, crack them thumbs, sub to the channel, make sure you hit the links down below to run over to the Etsy shop to pick up all the stuff Poetic Anarchy Press has to offer, and also join the Anarchy Crew. What I want you to do, if you're new here, okay, if you're new here right now, I have like 150 writing tip videos that you could go through. Go through those videos. Okay, you are always going to be learning. You are always going to be progressing. Once you go through those videos, click the join button and join the fucking Anarchy Crew because I have over 150 lessons. We do writing streams, members only live streams and stuff like that as well. I think it, you'll really get a shit ton out of it. All right. If you have any questions about anything, leave them down in the comments below. Type hard, everybody. And I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.